Good evening, everybody. I'm Tomo, you're the audience, and this is Fire Emblem, Order of the Crimson Arm. We're back, and we're going to continue with Chapter 2. I mentioned uh, last time that this chapter continues to give me PTSD, so let's see if it's any better this time. Illustrious Kingdom of Bervinia. So I'm talking about just they've been in a long time, just small scale battles. No big all out war. Um you know, very similar to early history or even as recent as the Cold War in America. I'm not American myself, clearly, but let's continue. And they're finding they're running out of money. How fortunate. Small thorn, eh? Well, it is a pretty small thorn, I suppose. Very suspicious. Oh, man. Huge army of knights with fancy silver armor. And then a bunch of regular mercenaries. Lady Dofour. and knavish deeds. Oh my. So she's a, a knight and an honorable one as well. Outside are preparing to attack. Keep that in mind. We are not a match for them. No, not at all. Yeah, but dabba do. Hello there. Asseline, yes. So as you can see, Asseline is actually a knight. Not Boleslav, Boleslav is the archer.
I kind of love just how uh, the tactician is just like, are you absolutely serious? So, let's take a look here. So we got Boleslav as an archer. A thrill-seeking Bervinian hunter likes a challenge. And look at that base strength and skill and speed. He is a tank. And here's Asseline. The scion of the fallen house du four. Very honorable. So, you know, typical knight stats for the most part. Decent con despite the fact that she's a girl, which is nice. And as you can see, she has a bow. They did incorporate this change from, I want to say it was introduced in Shadow Dragon? Fire Emblem 11 on the DS? Is when they started giving uh, bows to uh, knights. Okay, so, so an escape map, we got to get up and around and get to this building. To do that, we need to break through here because we can't get through the gates. And why is that? Oh, and this is just a red herring. There's those knives that were talked about. Level 10 promoted with big stats, silver weapons, all of them. Now clearly they're not a problem, right? No, not at all. So, let's begin. He's got the heavy weapon. I want to kill him right away because... Asseline's right there. Now, unlike your standard Fire Emblem game, we do not want to dilly-dally around and kill everything in this escape map. No, we need to book it. But hey, our tactician leveled up. And he got skill and magic, but no speed, of course. He's got a good speed growth, and I never see him get speed level ups. Huzzah! Level up for Curtis. And is it good? Yeah, it is. Holy crap. Yeah, and then he dodges the bloody fighter. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All of the yes. Okay, now let's start with Asli. Let's have her... Let's have her kill the Armor Slayer. I just don't want any of that. Very well thus far. Let's hope it continues. Well, I guess 
we gotta send Curtis in to kill him, or Ernst in to kill him. Just so we don't have to deal with that. And you know what? I'm going to send the tactician in. He can take a single hit. Besides that, it's just a fighter. Oh, he can take a single hit. Oh my goodness. Vaseline. Oh well, time for Bulbasaur to earn his keep. Oh yeah, and uh, Shortbows have range 2-3 and have the higher crit. They really improve bows in this game, and bow users. <clears throat> Let's get the Tactician back up. And Halen's first level up. No speed, my goodness. And yeah, that's okay. Because remember, I gotta set my guys up forward quickly because we don't have time to sit around lollygagging. Yeah, you'll hear me call tact, the tactician tact a lot. Just because I know Camille's the default name, but I'm used to calling him tact. Or the name I used a lot. Which I won't be using because this is a different sort of playthrough. leaves us open to let Asselin do the kill. And if you'll not, uh, notice too, the weapon triangle is back in this game of a sort. You know, fire beats, or anima beats, uh, light beats, dark beats anima. But there's an additional thing where all the anima magic has more damage against certain types of uh, enemy. So I believe wind magic messes up Pegasi, 
Um, while Thunder messes up Armor Knights and Wyverns, and Fire Beast Horses. We'll get that cleared up and confirmed later on as we get more Automa Magic. Hey, what the crit from Asseline? I always love how in the Fire Emblem, or the Game Boy Sprites, the uh, Armor Knight's chest piece is their shield. And my computer continues to be garbage. I really need to fix my PC. My laptop is old and it's breaking. Let's give you the javelin. Here's where it gets tricky because I really want to get my guys up there, but I don't want to put them in range and get murdered. Let's see, is the archer? He is not. Curtis, go in there. Yeah, you're going after Curtis. All according to Keikaku. Boleslav kills him. Now, I don't want to kill the archer with... Perfect! Because I want to give that kill to Algonus. Oh, I didn't even need to worry about it. Oh well. Come on, Algonus, get a good level up. You know what? Speed's always good. He needs more speed. So I'm thinking just to speed up the game, I'm going to start turning off certain animations, such as healers.
just to speed things up a little bit. Okay. He's gonna go to Ernst, of course. Or Curtis, sorry. Let's see if I can feed a kill to Curtis. Um, he's definitely going after the boss. Okay, Martel, get a good level up, not just HP. Come on! Oh, yeah. Oh my god, he got resistance. Martel got resistance. She'd have a custom conversation against Strauss. Alchemist with another nice dodge. Okay. Let's Ernest do this. Boloslaw do this. And get his first level up. Is it good? Yes, it is. More speed. Curtis, let's get you the last kill, because after this, we're in go mode. We gotta book it. Alright, hey Lynn gets the level up. And there's the speed. Oh, fudge. And there they come. Nope. No, 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 no. Yeah, we get a lot of reinforcements. Go, 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 go. All of these guys are going to be similarly equipped to those knights we showed off in the beginning. The first couple times I tried playing this level, I turtled. And I sat in the deployment zone. idea, as I'm sure you can guess. Okay, 
This is getting annoying. This... When the frame rate drops, it starts missing my keyboard inputs. Hey, he landed with a level up. Okay, so that's this stage clear, I think. Next turn, they're gonna come in and get closer. I'm kind of curious as to what's inside the, uh, Locked thing over there. Okay, we made it. So now we gotta escape. So now we're consider she's a She's considered a traitor, despite the fact that she did nothing wrong. Poor Asseline. So they burned the manor down to the ground just to hide that fact that they tried to turn on Asseline. To win a battle, you must know what the enemy expects, and strike where he does not. The motto of my playthroughs. To win a battle, you must first get bodied and try again. I like Boleslav. We could be the best with Boleslav. Okay, so that's the end of today's episode. Next time we continue and see if Alchemist can actually get some jobs worth working. But until then, I've been Tomo, you're the audience. Good morning to those of you who are uh, on the other side of the world, and in case I don't talk to you, the rest of you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.